minutes. The latest in news. Back over to you, Michelle. Thanks, Zach. The winter weather brought wet and slick roads throughout the Ohio Valley. 7 News reporter Annalise Murphy was outside all morning reporting on road conditions. She spoke with some Wheeling officials who say keeping the roads clear is an undertaking that continues even after the storm ends. Annalise joins us now with the details. The first significant snowfall of the year created hazardous road conditions, especially on the back and side roads. These conditions make for a long day and night for the workers at the City of Wheeling Operations Center. Steve Johnston, superintendent for the City of Wheeling Operations Center, says the tricky aspect of this type of snow is how light and fluffy it is because it makes it harder to keep roadways clear. The bulk of the snow stopped around 4 p.m. Friday, but the work for keeping clear roads is nowhere near finished. Johnston says issues arise as the weather warms up and cools back down, creating what he calls ice jams and explains how you can help. As temperatures warm up, the slushy things that are going to be out there, uh, we hope that uh, some people can give us a hand if they're able, try to break up those ice jams and whatnot so that it'll get into the storm source system and not turn to ice at night. Johnston says spot treatments on roads are always needed and they depend on people to give them a call when they see a road in Wheeling that needs treatment. The cool winter weather can be a letdown if you don't like being cold, if you're stuck at home, or driving on potentially hazardous roads. However, one heartwarming aspect of a snowstorm is getting to see kids enjoy having a friendly snowball fight, certainly making lifelong memories. <laughs> if you need to go out onto the roadways for any reason, be sure to leave early and keep distance between you and the car in front of you. For updated forecasts 24 7, be sure to stay with our Storm Tracker 7 team and WTRF. Com. Reporting and wheeling for 7 News, I'm Annalise Murphy working for you. All right, Annalise, and now after being out all morning and afternoon, we hope you can warm up at home. Well, state and interstate highways in Belmont County have been kept, kept fairly clear today despite the constant falling snow. Hasn't been an easy job, but ODOT drivers were prepared. In fact, they started last night. Let's go live now to DK Wright in Belmont County with the latest. DK. Belmont County Chief Deputy James Zuzak gives credit to ODOT drivers for doing a very good job. Such a good job, in fact, that he has now dropped the driving level back down to one. One just means you can drive, but use caution. The ODOT crews hit the roads at midnight. A fresh crew came in today at noon. Each one scrapes and treats their assigned section of highway. Then they go back in for more fuel and materials and then they go back out again. This driver has a responsibility of an average of 30 mile, 35 miles per uh, route, and uh, we work 24 hours, and, and there's 20 drivers on each shift, and we cover 700 state miles of roadway in Belmont County. Dave Schaefer says the good news is this has been a mild winter so far, so there is no problem with supplies. They've got plenty of salt and chemicals. He just asks everyone on the roads to keep the speeds down into the sensible range. And to give ODOT drivers plenty of room to maneuver and do their job. Live in Belmont County.